Hello everyone and welcome back to your online art lessons. Today we are inspired by an artist who loves to draw little monsters and then bring them to life using clay. We are inspired by James Durazzo. Today you are going to be creating monster color wheel. Here are some examples of James Durazzo's little monsters that he creates using clay. He is inspired by things that are fun, creepy, and or weird. Almost every monster that he makes, he does a drawing or a sketch of it first. He says that he captures his creative ideas better on paper. Then he makes them. After that, he produces monster illustrations for cards and storybooks and even puts them onto clothes. Now first, let's have a look at our colors and how we create them. Let's start with our primary colors. There are three, blue, red, and yellow. These are the colors that cannot be created using any other colors. Secondary colors are made from mixing primary colors, and there are also three of them. For example, mix yellow and red, and what do you make? Orange. How about if we mix yellow and blue, what do we get? If you said green, you are correct. And if you mix red and blue, you get purple. So the secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. Tertiary colors are what you get when you mix primary and secondary colors together. There are six tertiary colors in total, and you have to remember when you are naming them that you use the primary color name first and then the secondary color name that you mixed it with. For example, if you mix yellow and orange together, the tertiary color is called yellow orange. I think it is interesting and also really important to know the colors and the names as an artist because then you know how to create the colors that you want to use in your pieces of art. You can use this color wheel to help you think of the different emotions that each color represents. Your monster today can represent a range of emotions just like we do as humans. Like I've said before, it's okay to feel all kinds of different emotions. This is a painting that Jim Dine painted. That's his picture there. And it's called Four Hearts. I thought it was a perfect piece of art for a game. We're going to play Find the Colours. Can you take a look at the picture, Four Hearts, and see if you can identify and list all of the primary colours you can see? The secondary colours, and then the tertiary colours that Jim used. Remember to use the colour names. Pause the video and then when you are ready, I will share the colour names that I saw. Welcome back! I hope that you enjoyed finding the colours. These are the colours that I saw. I found red, yellow and blue in the primary colours, so all three of them. I found green, purple and orange in this painting, so again I found all of the secondary colours because there are three primary colours and three secondary colours. For the tertiary colours, I saw red, purple. Remember, we have to say the colour name starting with the primary colour, and red is the primary, so I saw red, purple, and red, orange. Maybe you saw even more colours than I did. Today, we will be combining James DeRosso's mini monsters with our colour wheels. This is what my monster of colours looks like, but always remember that yours can look different. You can take inspiration from any of James's monsters or use your own imagination. Have a think about what your monster's features will look like. How many eyes will they have? Will they have horns? Will they have hair or a beard? Will they have sharp or rounded teeth? The only thing you have to make sure of is that your monster has a mouth open to fit in your color wheel. The rest is up to you. So let's take a look at the resources that you will be using today. You need a range of coloring pens, you need a pencil, and you need a black pen to outline. 
You can also use coloring pencils if you have them. Remember, if you don't have the resources that I use at home, you can use any art resources that you have. Let's now take a look at the video and see how you can create your monster of colors today. Hello everyone and welcome to your Drawings by Me art tutorial. Today you will be creating a monster emotion color wheel painting. You'll be learning how to develop your ideas as you create your artwork, using thick and thin lines to draw and annotate your picture, and using watercolors to create a creature to show how you're feeling. Today we will be inspired by an artist who loves to draw, paint, and create mini creatures and monsters. He especially loves to use clay to bring his designs to life, and uses a range of colours in his designs. Do you know who we're inspired by today? It's James DeRosso. James DeRosso loved his art lessons when he was at school and college, and learned to create things using clay and ceramics. He started by making mugs, and used to make little clay monsters to sit on top of his kiln, which is a giant oven. His friends loved the little monsters so much, he eventually started to make more. First, let's take a look at the resources we will need. You will need a range of different colouring pens, and pencils, and a black pen for outlining. James DeRosso shows a range of emotions in his little monsters, from goofy to lovely to fierce, and this is what your emotion monster could look like. Practice drawing a colour wheel, either using all of the primary and secondary colours, or choosing your own shades for one chosen colour. After that, practice drawing the features that you would like your monster to have. I use pictures of James DeRosso's mini monsters to inspire me, and you can do the same. When you are ready, it's time to begin your art piece. First, draw a circle in the middle of your page. This is going to be your colour wheel, so choose your size and add any teeth you want your monster to have now. They can be round or spiked and you can add as many as you would like. It is your emotion. Then, when you are ready, fill in your colour wheel. I use colouring pens, but you can use watercolours if you want to create different shades of a colour. Colour carefully, and then you can add the outline around the teeth and the mouth. Once you've done that, you can add the features of the face. Use a pencil to sketch out, and then black pen to outline. I added two different size eyes, corners to its mouth, and then the outline of its head. Add any more extra details you would like, for example, horns, ears, a tail, a body, and any patterns that you would like to add onto your monster emotion. Dots, circles, and lines are all a great idea. Now you're ready to colour in the face and body using a colour that you've chosen. Use a darker coloured pencil to shade some of the areas around the eyes and the face to create a 3D effect. Now you can use coloured pens to create a background using the colours from your colour wheel. You can choose any pattern. I like the idea of creating lines of coloured circles that represented all the emotions in my monster emotion. And there you have your DeRusso inspired monster emotion colour wheel. Discuss how yours makes you feel with your friend. Remember it's okay to feel both positive and negative emotions. Enjoy and tag us in any pictures you take. Remember that art is fun. Sometimes you'll get a little messy, but that is okay. Just remember to wash your hands and your art area after. I hope that this lesson helps you to feel happy and positive and find something that makes you smile. Have fun, be creative, and remember to keep on creating your little monsters.